everyone, my name is Leonie Prater and I'm one of the Daisy mentees and I'm doing them training for a whole year with them and I'm currently placed with B Sharp which is um, placed in Lyme Regis and I'll be working with them throughout the next year. Um, what sort of my background of music? So I've started loving music at the age I was at a young age actually, back when I was six years old. Um, I grew up in Switzerland and um, went to primary school and I really wanted to learn the violin. So at age six I started playing violin and sort of focused more on classical music. Did loads of little concerts and um, when I became a teenager I knew instantly I want to like sort of go into the music direction. So I started um, my A levels were focused on music and um, with my main instrument of violin but um, during those four years I sort of started to become more interested into playing guitar and piano so I started to self um, to teach myself at home and that was quite a bit of a challenge and that's when I also started to be introduced to um, um, composition and songwriting so I've started to write my own songs during school um, and also composed my own music. I still had a soft spot for classical music though because I still played the violin and I played in my school orchestra once a week and we had like big concerts every year where we mainly focused on classical music. I also played in different ensembles which I get great fun with but it was always like a bit of a battle between like my modern music more like pop music and songwriting and on the other hand I liked classical music um I also played in a school band and then taught um and then I started to become a primary teacher which um I graduated and then I um started working as a primary teacher over here in England but I didn't really enjoy it that much and that's why I've started to become self-employed and I'm a music teacher now and teaching music across primary schools and secondary schools which I really enjoy. Um, my interest of music is quite is a big variation of it. Um, one of my big influences in my teens were like quite a few singer-songwriters so one of them was um, Ben Howard influenced me quite a, quite a bit and then singer-songwriters such as Neil Young or Alice Fibulu Alice or Askir which I quite like and enjoy listening to but I also like a ver variety of music so I listen to a lot of indie, um, indie rock and of course I like to listen to a lot of Swiss artists which is they mainly perform in Swiss German like a band called Dachs or um, Pandalux they, they actually sing in German so I do occasionally listen to German music as well um, I've always kept my soft spot for um, sorry about this <laughs> soft spot for classical music because um, yeah it's just sometimes I feel like a, a calm day I need to listen to some classical music and um, so I still quite enjoy a nice quiet um, atmosphere with a bit of classical music so um, and then of course like rock bands such as um, Radiohead or Nirvana which I occasionally like to listen to there's quite a lot I could actually talk about but um, so I've been influenced from all over the world and from all of the all of the music styles but I myself focus more on singer-songwriter things I started to write my own songs and um, yeah and I produced one album actually last year in during lockdown which will be released this year so I'm quite excited about this um, I am actually so what am I expecting from this experience um, I am actually quite open I don't really know what I'm gonna what's gonna happen because at the moment everything's quite out in the open anyway for, for lockdown but I'm really really excited um, to um, be challenged to lead sessions in a sort of different way out of school setting which is something I haven't really done before so um, 
I'm looking forward to work alongside with my mentor and to create really good relationship with him to be like able to um, pro um, how you say it um, well to be able to just make the most out of this year to um, gain from his experience and to learn from his experience um, also another thing is getting out of my comfort zone get more confident in leading groups and also learning new types of music so um, I am not really good at for example rhythm types of music so I would like to actually get more involved in that and just um, focus a bit on that learn new instruments and also creating great relationships with all the kids and teens in the sessions just to make sure that you sort of get to bond with them and also with your team of course which I've already started to um, get to know and I'm really excited about to work alongside with some of them um, yeah then the last thing is what's going to be my biggest challenge <laughs> it's actually quite tricky <laughs> to to summarize but I think one thing because I'm so used to like teaching schools and everything's sort of planned and you've got like your setting and you know everything I think one challenge will be to get sort of step out of that comfort zone and um, not really knowing what's going on so that out of school setting so you have to be flexible all the time you have to um, yeah just also to like come up with new ideas and new ways of like delivering sessions I think that's going to be a challenge and to learn to be flexible um, yeah I think that's all thanks